riding motor ray texas girl storm as you can see <laughs> i'm trying to stay out of their way yeah um the kids all came over i went and got the kids um lacy and brooke right at evening and um mom and dad and shane came over to mother's yesterday and they cooked supper and we had birthday cakes because my birthday was yesterday and shane's birthday will be tomorrow and she will be turning what will she be turning she was born in 2009 and it's 20 wait a minute no she was born in 2014 2023 so she'll be nine years old i thought she was older than that nope 10 years old it's 2024 oh 10 years old shane will be 10 years old tomorrow so i was out raking some spreading some of the spent hay and picking up a bunch of the pulling up the those yellow whatever those yellow weeds are and just kind of clean it up and rake in a few spots and thought I'd hang out here with these guys because Dunn hadn't been out in a few days because the last time he got out I mean got was turned out out here somehow he got out I don't know how he got out the day before that him and Gracie both got out they would knocked two of the poles down or they probably fell down and um, got out but um I just figured I'd hang out, let him run around, and get some energy spent out here for a while. Uh, and uh, we haven't done a whole lot. I did go wise up, mother started downloading some tax stuff. I usually have my taxes done by now, but I've been putting it off. But you can see there has been a few spots that have washed on the hill, but um, nothing like it was. So, and especially the corners. Are doing, are doing pretty good. <laughs> Mama, you're so funny. Now, they won't eat them things when they're in the ground, but I throw them in the rake pile. And look, maybe that's what I gotta do. And here comes trouble. <clears throat> yeah, the girls come wanting to say hi to him, but I, I told him, no, don't get in the pen with him. I'm like, he's getting kind of big and kind of rambunctious so they stayed out we got that group there and it looks like the other one's hanging out with them too brownie's probably over there by the other chickens junior he's probably up on the porch but the girls hadn't seen the windows or the doors or anything like that they hadn't seen all the board and batten on they hadn't seen the fruit trees planting so, yeah, and I don't know what happened on that last video I made. Um, for some reason, I mean, um, even uh, the the editing software that I used, um, um, even though it said it had 29 minutes and 42 seconds, it when I exported it, kept cutting it off at 27, whatever it was. So, apologies for that. All it was really missing was... The closing that I usually put in there so I kind of figured that wasn't no big deal I wouldn't go to I mean I looked at it that's why I went and exported again it still kept showing the same thing so I said yeah I'm not going to re-upload that for missing two minutes so yeah it's a beautiful day it was chilly this morning but it's warmed up nicely a cool breeze blowing as you can see by the cedar limbs blowing and we're just kind of hanging out with the animals for a while. Easy now, you guys. Y'all coming awful close. Well, that's real close, Dutton. That's real close, Dutton. I love watching them play. And they're so out of shape. They need to. He needs to play with her and she needs to play with him because they both need to lose some weight. Go get some water. Dutton, go get some water. And then he does his, wants to do his boy, boy stuff. Go get you some water, Dutton. 
Go get you some water. Don't come over here and rub all over me. You stink. You stink. No. 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 Go get a drink of water. Come on. Let's get a drink of water. Come on. Dutton, come on. It's all fresh. Look. You got fresh, clean water. Look. There you come. You gonna come get a drink of water? Come on, Mama. Nope. He says, nope. But, uh, yeah, yesterday, Brooke, Lacey, Mom, and I <clears throat> went into town and um, uh, looked for Shane birthday presents. That's what we did. And by the time I think we finished that, it was almost 4 o'clock by the time we got home. And um, so I left the girls up there. I came down and fed and uh, took the dogs up and turned them in Mom's backyard. Uh, he's over there messing with my rake. And then went back up there. And, uh, yeah, just had family time. I had family time. So, yeah, it's just a beautiful day. So, we hadn't, um... We had really videoed the goats in a while, even though y'all see Dutton pretty much all the time because he's talking to us. But um, you can see he's still calm. But with the the younger girls, um, I just worry about him. You know, he doesn't know that he, he can hurt them. And I've got bruises all over my legs where he comes up beside you and puts his head and then accidentally takes his horn back to, to rub. <laughs> there he goes. But, um, he's not even a year old yet. He's, he's approaching a year old. I think it's either, I'll have to look at the records. Maybe it is a year old. It's either this month or next month. And Mama, I don't know how old Mama is. Or sweet girl. But I walked into Vida today and her whole wall... She tore her wall down, so I don't know if there's been... And she was jumpy, like um, she was a little scared or something. But I don't know if something's been scaring her in the nighttime or what. But she had tore that whole little uh, board fence. I mean, the standing up that the roosters get on. Dutton's following me. I feel him. I feel him on my butt. Look, he's right there. And there he is. See, see how he's trying to accident rub me. No, Dutton, I'll get the rake. No, we're not doing that. I don't want to smell like stinky, stinky boy goat. And he doesn't smell too bad, but you know he does smell. You pet him, you smell like him. And he wanted to fight with my rake. He knows this is what he's not supposed to mess with. But they're doing good. Mama's feet still need to be trimmed. I guess I just need to build a stanchion and tire legs and do them one at a time. His his feet look pretty good, but her back feet especially. I mean, y'all can see her back feet. They need to be trimmed. Front feet need to be trimmed too, but they're nothing like the back feet. His feet are doing are doing fine. They haven't got long. Quit. He's not on my, trying to eat my, pull my rake. But he did tear his tree down out of his pen up there. <laughs> it was down on the ground this morning when I came out too. I was like, what are you doing? Because Shane spent the night with me. Everybody else spent the night of it, Mother. Since she wanted to stay until she found out she was going to get to go to work with her dad. This so they're fixing Shane chicken and noodles and have a birthday cake again for her tomorrow evening and Brooke asked if I would come and pick her up Tuesday so Brooke will be coming and spending a few days and I'm hoping the other door comes in so they can get the doors installed and Brooke will be here to see all that finished up and finally dried in still hadn't heard anything from the metal guys when they're going to come and look. So, yeah, nothing's really changed. There she is, resting now. She's a big goat. I don't know how much she weighs, but she weighs a lot. He weighs a lot. 
That's why, I mean, he's a beautiful buck. Beautiful buck. And he hasn't, he, his head is getting, you know, bigger. They get those big old massive heads on them. And he, he'll get there. But um, I, I was telling my sister, I mean my daughter and son-in-law, I'm ready to get some fence up front so I can just turn them loose and let them go just wherever they want to. But if I do that, I get into my building money. So it's one of them things, dang if you do, dang if you don't. But yeah, I'm ready for a fence. Ready for a fence and some gates. And um, that way, I was the fence, I can go ahead and fence me off a garden section with inside the fence and keep all the chickens out especially in my orchard and i'll plant vegetables in there too because i'm not going to plant a bunch it just depends on what all comes up in the tubs in the greenhouse and um the lettuce is doing good and, and there's something else that i planted that i can't remember what i planted in the other one i can't remember if it was i don't think it was broccoli Or what it was so I don't know but like this I'll transplant some of the squash plants the tomato plants and I want to get me some four befores or some type of taller post and string either some of the PVC pipe in between them or a metal rod and hang all my I got those uh, twine things I don't the stringers that come all the way from the top down to the bottom where the tomato plants can grow up they'll probably grow I'll probably plant them right on the other side of those onions where I had them last year don't I haven't started any okra um, if I do I'm not gonna plant as much as I did last year because y'all know I had okra for days and days and days so anyway just wanted to check in with y'all Kind of just taking it easy today, letting the animals come out of the pens. Well, Mama gets out of her pen every day because I don't have to worry about her tearing nothing up. But Mr. Dutton, he's another story. Just a little rambunctious. And I don't want him getting out again. I mean, he ain't going nowhere because she's in here. But, you know, he don't need to be running around. But I hope y'all had a nice weekend. There's Maggie. I don't know where Junior's at. He's somewhere up there. I'll probably go up there and sit in the chair for a while and just uh, keep an eye on him. But uh, just hope y'all had a nice weekend. I wanted to touch base with y'all and let y'all know, you know, why I hadn't uh, put no videos. It had been rainy and got cold. And uh, just had stuff going on with the kids. So, that said, if you like the content, she must see a squirrel. If you like the content, Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, come on over and subscribe. We'd love to have you. And hit the notification bell. So every time we upload a video, you'll probably see this guy. And you'll be notified. And you'll see them guys. So we'll catch you on the next one.